Annotated Portfolios, Lisa Hansen. When we think of portfolios, what first comes to mind is the student walking down the street carrying a portfolio bag filled with a representation of the artist's best work. Portfolios are also used within education. Annotated portfolios provide samples of students' work along with an explanation to accompany the work. Annotated portfolios have been used successfully in a wide variety of applied programs including education, nursing, and automotive technology. Annotated portfolios can help students prepare for job interviews. The steps for using portfolios as a classroom assessment technique are as follows. First, identify the question, topic, or problem from the course you are teaching. Next, Ask students to identify several pieces of work that address that question, topic, or problem. Students may need to see an example of a, of a selected piece. Then, ask students to provide a written response. Students may need to see an example of a piece of writing. Have students turn in their selected pieces and their writing in a binder or folder. Feedback is provided using a rubric to assess the written response to the chosen assignments. If this is the case, then it needs to be very clear to the student what is being assessed and how it is being assessed. The other form of feedback that can be provided is, is for the, the instructor to comment or mark on the substance of the student-led meeting where the student has an opportunity to comment on their growth, strengths, and weaknesses as they see them. This also benefits from clear structure. These two scoring rubrics need to be consistently used from student to student and instructor to instructor, if applicable, for reliability to be in place. The procedure used for marking the portfolio. The instructor can focus on how well the student has answered the question, topic, or problem that was posed. The instructor can also choose to focus on the level of integration that the student demonstrates within the written response. That is, to what extent has the student demonstrated through their writing and integration of the program content. It is helpful if the instructor takes notes and ranks each submission as they are going through them. Now we'll go through a few of the challenges in using this classroom assessment technique. One of the challenges can be engaging the students in this portfolio process. Reflection and self-assessment is the basis for a meaningful portfolio, but students need to have the maturity and have a certain level of cognitive development to gain the most from the portfolio process. Some students are more able to engage in reflection and self-assessment than others based on life experience, and for some students it's a struggle, so that may be one of the challenges for the instructor. Portfolio Framework. Providing a clear template or scaffold assists struggling students to find meaning in the portfolio assignment. The portfolio may be made up of written assignments, but it may also include other mediums. Annotated portfolios may also consist of video, music, or sculpture. This is particularly true as instructors are encouraged to support students who have alternative, alternative learning styles. One of the other considerations is the significance of the time requirement on the part of both the student and the instructor. Students need to be provided with time to select their artifacts, write their statements, and prepare for their meeting with the instructor. The instructor time requirements are also significant, and instructors need to participate in all aspects of the portfolio pr program. The level and quality of involvement of the instructor or instructors is instrumental in determining the degree to which the portfolio process demonstrates alignment, validity, and reliability. There are many advantages to, the, to this technique as a classroom assessment technique. The portfolio assessment technique is meaningful for students when they, they are able to link the curriculum together. It's an effective technique for those students who are able to speak well. It benefits those students who are comfortable with reflection and self-assessment. It's good preparation for those students who are going on to further schooling or for those who are going into the job market. The disadvantages of, these, of this technique includes 
that it's a significant time requirement on the part of both students and the instructor. There is the possibility of a relationship shift between the student and the instructor because they're kind of on equal grounds during the student-led meeting. Some students are much better at self-reflection and assessment and self-assessment than others. There are some limitations of this technique. Some of these limitations include what counts as good work when it comes to a portfolio? How does one place a mark on what a student has selected as their best work? And in what situations is portfolio assessment an effective technique? What is required to maintain alignment, reliability, and validity? Here are some tips for best practice for annotated portfolios. Determine if the annotated portfolio is the right technique for your classroom or program. State the guidelines clearly right from the beginning. Provide a clear framework for students to work from. Provide students with a marking rubric, or actually several rubrics because you probably will be using more than one. Make sure students have sufficient time. Provide students with guidelines for their student-led meeting. Consider providing a grade assignment or course credit for their portfolio work. Provide faculty with sufficient time. In summary, the classroom, this classroom assessment technique of annotated portfolios is one which requires good planning and thoughtful introduction if it's to be successful. Throughout the time the portfolio is in use, careful attention must be paid to its place within the classroom. When it is working well, it provides an opportunity for students to synthesize their learning, their learning and develop skills to articulate their areas of growth and strength. Thank you.